My name is Ana Sofia Tristan, and I'm a visual artist from Costa Rica. I was born and raised in San Jose, the capital, but we would always spend our time between the ocean and the forest. My upbringing has definitely shaped the way I see the world, watching my surroundings, nature always as my biggest inspiration. When I graduated high school, I went to university in Australia, always looking to be by the ocean. Sadly, despite wanting to, I didn't study art there. After I graduated, I moved back to Costa Rica, and after a few years of taking art classes and building up a portfolio, I was accepted to a university in San Francisco to do my MFA. I loved the time I spent there, for the first time completely immersed in painting. But with time, I realized how much I was missing and how important it was for me to be around nature. This shifted my whole art style, and I believe this is when I found my voice in art. My art is about identity, consciousness, and the constant internal and external search for an authenticity that is only found in nature. My work speaks directly to how we are deeply shaped by our environment and how it is affected by the decisions that we make daily. In nature, we can see real and sincere connections, like the ones we long for as human beings. Nature is part of who we are and constantly shows us her great power and therefore the same power that exists in each of us. These works that I make, which mix nature with human or animal portraits, are a daily reminder to give the environment the importance, respect and love it deserves. We are part of nature, not a part of it. A mixture of seas and mountains, jungles and forests, plants, trees and flowers, and all the animals and insects that inhabit these ecosystems are what inspire my work. The portraits that I integrate in this nature are a way of pointing out not only the importance of connecting with nature, but also of taking care of it. My art is an expression of my concept of nature. I create work from nature patterns interspersed with portraits in an unreal, strange or fantastic way. This is used as a way to express what the environment makes me feel and believe, that everything is possible. Nature is so impressive that it makes my imagination fly. I focus on the emotional expression or aesthetic ideas that shape in nature may suggest. I like there to be a level of realism in the environment I capture, but I definitely don't feel restricted to representing the entire environment in an accurate way. On the contrary, I feel a freedom and a call to experiment with portraits, colors, and designs to create a little of that magic that nature already has and makes us feel. My creative process always begins with reading. Most of the time, I try to do it facing the sea under endless trees. In different readings, I always wait to find an idea that moves me, an idea that I feel is worth expressing through painting. Once I find it, I look for how to associate this idea in a direct way with nature. I walk through nature, take photos, and search for images until something clicks and I find my painting. Once in front of the white canvas, I always start by drawing and then painting the patterns of the environment. As I see them captured in front of me, I am looking for a way to integrate that character that dances perfectly with them. In that moment, I find my voice. Nature in itself is art. I just find myself in the eternal search to express it in endless ways that can house a little bit of its charm.